up in Iraq. What were you doing there? Um, yeah, I, I, look, I suppose I've been, I've been asked to come on board for the last couple of years as an ambassador with Concern. Yeah. Uh, and I've always said it, it's one of, the, one of the best opportunities ever afforded to me. Sure. Uh, Concern work in the world's poorest places, the poorest of the poor places. Um, and most recently, um, we uh, took a trip over, over to Iraq to work with the Syrian refugees. Yes. <clears throat> look, I suppose the, the word Syrian is, is, is nearly being dehumanised at the moment because pe people aren't... People have been hearing it for, for 10 years now, this is going on, and, and they're not actually, I, I don't think, reacting to it at all. <coughs> um, so we, uh, we, we, we took a trip, trip over, um, and we went over to a number of different refugee camps, um, yeah. and uh, I suppose the, the second camp that we went to was, uh, it was a Yazidi camp, and we, we spent, spent a lot of our time sitting down with, with one family, um, and look, it was, it's, it's heartbreaking to hear their story, and unfortunately their story is, is ten a penny over there. They have, the family that, that we worked with um, spent their last five years in captivity from, from a well-known well -known terrorist organisation. And these, these are 10 and 15 year old boys who, who, who grew up like that. They, they, they grew up seeing things that they couldn't see. They, they, their father has been missing for five years. Uh, they, they, they were sleep. They had one meal a day. They were, they were sleeping in one blanket uh, in, in the harshest winters. And like, I, I'm not here. I'm not here. I don't have a book. I don't have a podcast. I'm not trying to sell you anything. Yeah. Uh, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to raise awareness for, for what's going on over there and, and people to, to, to try and take heed of, of like that, that these kids that we were dealing with were were, were just like kids in Tallow. They were just like kids growing up in Rathfarnham. Like just like kids in, in Cork. Well, look at this photograph of of some of the kids that you met. Um, I don't know what you're looking at here, but okay. they just look like kids you might have met up the road, or you oh, know, kids are kids. Kids are kids. What are they looking Th at? These are just like this is, <laughs> this is terrible actually. Why? So, so we're so we're, we're, we're chatting to the kids, and the kids um, wanted to like they kind of were told there was a footballer of sorts. They were kind of thinking Ronaldo, which is like <laughs> not not. You're, what you're was, an not, Irish like, Ronaldo. I, I was kind of working through an interpreter all day, and it, it wasn't easy. But um, they, uh, they, yeah. So I, I, to try and explain, I tried to get their their phone, uh, the, the 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 uncle's phone. It took me about a half an hour to get it off Arabic. And anyway, I, I egotistically typed my name into YouTube, and then I put it in. And the first clip is a video of me getting sent off. <laughs> and then they're like, "Why? Why are you getting sent?" And I was like, "Uh, uh yeah, no yeah, reason." Yeah, yeah.